Hi guys, a while ago somebody asked me to make a radio controlled car out of a waste bin. Unfortunately I can't find that original request so my apologies, I don't know who asked for it. Anyway, in the end I managed to find one of these little bins in the works. Plastic swing top waste bin sort of thing you have on your desk to put your pens in. Anyway, all I've done is I've hot glued the steering off of one of my radio controlled cars onto the front of it and then because it's quite wide I had to put extended axle on the gearbox and that for the, um, for the back end because the original car was too narrow. They're not the original tyres, the car didn't have tyres on it when I bought it in the charity shop so these are ones that fit onto the rims but they're quite, um, well there's no grip to put it mildly. If I drive it carefully we should be able to go up and down here a bit. Uh, oh yes, forwards is forwards, that's handy. And the steering's the right way round as well. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, there's no grip on the front tyres and no grip on the back tyres. range is a bit down as well because I haven't brought the aerial out, it's all wrapped round inside there. No grip on the front, no grip on the back, but it does work. probably do a little bit better on carpet. <laughs> well that's far more complicated inside there than it needs to be. That's because I've used the receiver that I repaired in one of my videos quite a while ago because I had to replace the H bridge. It had burnt out on the board so I provided an external H bridge. So the motors are actually being powered by it's that 12 volts, isn't it? Eight AA batteries. Whereas the receiver itself is actually running off a LiPo, little LiPo. Um, there's actually a pair of them there, but they're running as a, a 1S in parallel. Far more complicated than it needs to be but I was just using bits and pieces out of my junk box. <laughs> 